All right, so I grabbed a bunch of different things uh, on my shopping trip today. Kind of a diverse bunch of records and tapes and different forms of media. So anyway, first thing I got, this is Paul Hardcastle. This is a 12 inch for the song 19, which I remember being all over the radio in the early 1980s. 19 basically uh, is a song and from my remembrance of it, I haven't heard this song since the early 1980s, but basically it is a commentary on the average age of the combat soldier uh, in Vietnam was 19 years old. And so if I'm recalling correctly, there's kind of like radio broadcasts and stuff over sort of a techno beat kind of a thing. So interested to reacquaint myself with that. It was only $2.50, so I thought, what the heck? I uh, got some Thompson Twins. Now this is a UK import of their second album. In the US it is just titled Sidekicks, but in the UK it is called Quick Step and Sidekick. I love the Thompson Twins, so had to grab this one. This has Love on Your Side, Lies, um, We Are Detective, uh, Love Lies Bleeding, although I don't think that's the Elton John cover. And this is uh, what that looks like. So very happy to find that one. That was only $4. I'm surprised for an import and it's in good condition too. Uh, I saw this when I was crate digging. You probably did too. I haven't seen this ever. It's a 12 inch of the Genesis track, Keep It Dark. Can't imagine this ever being released as a single. It doesn't sound all that commercial to me, but apparently it was. And it's got a song I've never heard before, Nama Nanu along with the Abacab long version, which I presume is just the album version, not a radio edit. So anyway, I like Genesis, so I was glad to pick that up. Got some Honeymoon Suite. This is their second album. This was only $3, says it's an import. So I presume it's a Canadian import. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had that on cassette back in the day. And then I got this, this was only a dollar. And this is a mono version, which I already have the mono version, but I do not have it on this label. This is a red uh, United Artists label, which I have never seen before. And it's, you know, it could be in better condition, but I really bought it just because I'd never seen a pressing um, of this before. So, you know, will it ever hit the turntable? Probably not, but it's just cool to have another uh, addition to my uh, Beatles collection. So happy to uh, have that one. I think that is, this is my second mono pressing and my fifth copy of the Hard Day's Night United Artists soundtrack in one form or another. Uh, picked up a couple of cassettes. I got The Fix. This is their album Walkabout which I think is their fifth album. Maybe fourth album, I don't know. Anyway, used to have it back on cassette in the day. And then one of my cassette grails was the Smiths. The Queen is Dead, this is $12, but damn, you look for this online, it is easily uh, 20 to $30, and this is in fantastic shape, so I was really excited to find that. And then I grabbed some 8-track tapes just as I was on my way out. I'm like, ah, oh, they got some 8-tracks. Let me see what they got. And so, you know, I always say I don't collect 8-track tapes, but actually my collection is growing. I got Wings at the Speed of Sound. Venus and Mars. And the Beach Boys all summer long. So happy to have those. They were only a couple bucks each, so I figured, what the hell? I don't even know where I'm going to display my 8-track tapes is the thing. But anyway, so real happy with what I got today. Hopefully you found enough interesting stuff through the crate digging video that I took 
It's a great sunny day out here, so hope you are doing well and take care.